What we're going to do is talk about how 3D works inside of After Effects. Now this is primarily for people who've never ever used a 3D application before, such as Lightwave or Maya, Modo, or many other variants of 3D applications. Now this is important because in 3D, unlike 2D, where we have an X plane, which is the ground, and a Y, which is up and down, you also have a Z, which is depth, in or out. Now the first thing we have to do to actually work with 3D is enable the 3D capability of the layer we're on. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go down here and click on this little cube icon in the little blank spot where it belongs in this layer. So click, the cube moves down, and now we have a little manipulator handle because I have this layer selected. I'll go ahead and click off the picture and you see that it goes away. Click again and here it is. But we still can't really see the 3D yet. So let me go ahead and resize some of this stuff so we can see these camera controls here. I'm gonna go where it says active camera, which is what we're looking at as the viewer, to a custom view, which gives us now a little bit of an angle. I'll also zoom in a little bit. And now you see we have this manipulator tool here. We have three different colors as well and when you hover your mouse over one of them, you'll see a letter next to your cursor. Now typically in 3D applications, the red will indicate the X axis, which is the ground. So I can move the elephant and he's moving along the floor. We also have the Y axis, which is up and down. And we also have Z, which indicates depth, near and far. So that is pretty much how those three planes work.